Hi, I'm Dr. Joe Ruan, Ohio Health Sports Medicine Physician and Medical Director for your Columbus Blue Jackets. And I'm Blue Jackets alumni and current CBJ broadcaster, Jody Shelley. In this video, we are going to break down some of the key pieces of hockey equipment that keep you safe, healthy, and on the ice. Today, we're going to talk about lower body pads. That's right, we're going to make sure you're covered from your waist to your ankles so that you can keep your feet moving for every shift. Your feet were always moving when you were out there, weren't they, Jody? Absolutely, Doc. When we're talking lower body, we have got to start with the shin pads. It's important that these fit properly with the knee snug in the pad, and you want to make sure it extends down to the top of your ankle. We recommend that you tuck the tongue of your skate underneath your shin pads as well. This offers additional protection to your ankle from skates, blades, and sticks. Speaking of protection, Jody, would you like to talk about the importance of wearing a jock or jail during play? I would not. Now, once you've got your shin pads on and your tongue's tucked in, it's time to cover them with a nice pair of hockey socks. Preferably a pair of Blue Jackets hockey socks. Lastly, you're going to have to get yourself a pair of hockey pants that extend down to the top of your shin pads so you have complete protection. You also want to make sure they can be tightened around the waist enough to keep them from falling down in the middle of the game. If there's one thing I know, you'll need to keep your pants up in order to play safe. 